All right, Uma Fight Camp. In this video, I want to talk about karate. There are people who, as I've said before in other videos, who look and say, well, you know what? Karate is garbage. Karate doesn't work. And I want to get out of the way again, this double standard. But what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to talk about the two worlds that existed in particularly in the United States. Not so much Europe, but in particular the United States, the two worlds. Karate worlds, as I call it. And then you'll understand why my take on karate is different than the take on these other people who don't know what they're talking about. Now, some people are going to feel insulted, but the truth has to be said. Because much of my confidence comes from karate. My self-defense is generally karate-based. And that's not unusual. Because there are people in England, in London, some of the most dangerous men, some of the most dangerous people that ever walked the streets, legendary figures, they will say that at their base is also karate. So let's look at this. When we look at the double standards, there are people who say, well, karate doesn't work. Even though we will see knockouts being produced by karate kicks, not Muay Thai kicks, karate kicks. As I said before, Muay Thai kicks done properly, especially the roundhouse. The roundhouse, the, the, the whole leg moves as one unit. Karate execution for their roundhouse kicks, the leg moves in two units, all right? The, 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 in this case, I'm using the shoulder, but the hip moves forward, and then the hip to the thigh moves forward, and then from, or from the, the hip to the uh, uh, elbow, uh, to the knee, sorry, to the knee moves forward, and then from the knee to the ankle. So, this is a Muay Thai kick, this is a karate kick. One more time, Muay Thai as one unit, karate, two units. So, we clearly see that some of the most spectacular kicks being done are actually karate execution and not Muay Thai. Now, in here, I want to talk about karate and really what happened. Because there is a reason why a person like me says karate is legitimate. And why there are some other people, mostly non-blacks, who say karate is not. Here we go. Hopefully you're sitting down. In the United States of America, there are generally two worlds. There are those people who are very rich or well-to-do, and then those people who are poor. Now they talk about there is, you know, there's a middle class, but generally there are people who are well-to-do, fairly, fairly well-off. And then there are people who are poor. Almost everything in life in America is actually uh, shined upon or influenced by those two worlds that are in America, even the teaching of karate. When martial arts masters, and then I'm going to pick up on it, just stick with me because you'll understand why there's a difference. Why the people who say karate is garbage, or the people who say karate doesn't work, don't know what they're talking about and shouldn't be listened to. You can if you want, but you'll never be smarter for having to listen to them because they really don't know karate. In the United States, you had those two people. Those people were fairly well off and those people who were poor. Those people who could afford the best and those people who would budget to get the best. And karate was actually shaped by those two worlds. Now, when the masters, when the real masters, when the real masters of karate came from Okinawa and came from Japan, they came from those places wanting to teach elbows to the face. They came from those people, places wanting to teach the clinch. Yes, there is the clinch. There is a clinch in karate. They wanted to teach knees. They wanted to teach punches to the face. They wanted to teach, uh, they wanted to teach uh, sweeps and stomps. They wanted to teach those things. So where did they settle? When the real masters came from the Orient, where did they settle? And when the real masters who were from America but trained in the Orient, where did they settle? They didn't settle in the most affluent areas. They settled in ghettos where people like me were. That's right. They settled, if they settled in large, if they settled in places that weren't ghettos, they settled in places like New York City, people like Los An places like Los Angeles, California. Why? Because even though there were a lot of soft people there, even though there were a lot of people in those big cities who really didn't want to train very hard, there were still enough people 
who were tough enough to want to learn karate in the way it was originally meant to be taught. But a great many of the masters settled in areas like where I was from. Why? Because they wanted to teach true karate and people like me wanted to learn real karate. When I was coming up, I could go 10 miles, and these are the kind of places that people like Joe Rogan trained in. These are the kind of places that people like who say karate is garbage that they trained in. When I was coming up, 10 miles away from the dojo where I was trained in, right, there was this nice air conditioned, beautifully mirrored, with a beautiful floor dojo. And you could look in, and you could see that these kids, most of them white. That's, I'm telling it like it is, most of them white. The same kind of people who get on YouTube and say karate is garbage. They were throwing flimsy kicks. Some of them were high. They were doing katas. The form was terrible. But they had black belts on. Why? Because little Elizabeth would be dropped off at the ba for ballet at the dance school, and little Jimmy would go to the karate school. But to keep the lights on, the guy, if he even really trained hard, but to keep the lights on, the sensei had to actually water down the karate. And it's quite possible that he didn't really even train. Maybe he was from the same type of area. Maybe he had the same kind of parents. So basically, he probably didn't even train hard either. So now you have these kids with their belts, and the one belt is sideways, and one belt is one way, and the other belt's the other way, the kicks are flimsy, nothing works. But little Jimmy is into karate. These are the people in the nicest sections in America. And these are the people, I know some people don't like it, but I'm sick and tired of people saying they know karate, or they know about karate, and they don't. So I have to talk about your background and the kind of person you are and why you have said what you've said, and why I say what I say. Now, 10 miles away from that dojo was the ghetto dojo. We had beautiful geese, but we had blood stains in those geese because we sparred hard. We had sweat stains, and even bleach didn't get out. If we fell on the ground, if we got sweat because they taught sweat sweeps, then you got stomped. You had to get up. You had to roll and get up. You weren't supposed to be malicious with punches to the head, but you threw punches to the head and it was full contact to the body. We didn't have any chest protectors. Most of us couldn't even afford, couldn't even afford hand protection. So basically, so basically the most we did was take ace bandages and wrap our hands. Many times we didn't even use ace bandages. We went bare knuckle. And while punches to the face were allowed and they weren't, they weren't supposed to be malicious, at the same time, if you ran into a punch, you lost your tooth, a tooth. I remember myself having something done with me that most of the people who talk about, including Joe Rogan, that would not ever be with them. I remember having my nose broken when I was 13. My nose is broken from a kick, actually. It was broken from a kick. The teacher told me to hold my head back so, my nose, so the blood wouldn't just splash, keep splashing on the floor. Finally, he said, okay, I'm going to take you to the hospital, but I want you to continue to fight. I looked at him like he was crazy, but I continued to fight. As soon as he said, hajime, which means attack or, or go or begin, I went in. Front kick, reverse punch, hard, blood spilling all over my gi, spilling all over the floor. Finally, the teacher said, yame, stop, and he took me to the hospital. I asked him years later, why did you tell me to continue to fight? He said, because in the street, in the street, you would have to fight through pain. That is not what Joe Rogan learned. That is not the way Joe Rogan learned. That is not the way the people talking about karate is garbage learned. Why? Because you come from a very cushy lifestyle. You are very soft. Maybe now you're in the MMA. But you weren't, you weren't that way when you were supposedly trained in karate, if you trained in it at all. I'm 55 years old, and I don't want to talk about anybody's parents. But if your father's 55, your father probably was on a neighborhood swimming team, on a high school swimming team, while I was training in full contact karate. Hard punches, full punches to the body, and minimal punches to the face with no padding on. 
There were two worlds when I was coming up. There were two worlds when it came up, came to karate. And our karate in the ghetto worked. It worked. If you were a boxer, and I was a boxer, but I wanted to get a jump on you, I would put up my hands and I would let you box. And it would look like I was boxing because my hands would be in a boxing position. I would sweep you, knock you, turn you right into my roundhouse kick, and then punch you in the head, and then take you and slam your head into a tree. But first, I would make you think I was getting ready to box before I threw that sweep. And when I turned and I, when I threw that sweep and turned you into my roundhouse kick, I would throw it with my toes. I would throw it with my toes this way to knock the wind out of you. And when you're bent over, I will hit you with a nice right hand or maybe even a reverse punch. Take you by your head and slam you into a tree. That's what karate was. Our karate was dirty. Our karate was real. And to this day, I have a great deal of confidence. I have confidence because I box. I have confidence because I wrestled. But there was nothing that gave me more confidence than my hardcore, down and dirty dungeon karate. I love karate. I love karate because it allows you, if trained right, trained right, it allows you to bust somebody's brain, smash somebody's brain, smash their skull with an elbow, smash their skull with a reverse punch. This is why when you look at karate, you see that karate generates more power than any other martial art in the world. Karate demonstrates more power it demonstrates more strength, skills of strength, more feats of strength than any other martial art in the world if it is trained right to people like me, people who want to learn karate for real. A shin kick from a karate master, a real karate fighter, he can break two bats with a shin kick, smashing through ice. I have seen karate fighters. I have seen karate, real karate masters. Not the people that taught you, the people who taught me. I have seen real karate masters, black and Japanese, take bricks, throw them up at a picnic, at a school picnic, and bust it, turn it into mush with a reverse punch. Throw them up, boom, throw them up, boom. That's power. That's raw, dull power. No, you could not train in karate. And you could not train in karate because your mother and father would not allow you to venture down to the ghetto where people like me were, where we would take you and protect you. We wouldn't let nobody bother you. We would take you and teach you. We will take you and make you our friend, our vanilla soul brother, and make sure you learn the martial arts properly. But since we were supposedly thugs, you never ventured down to our areas. So now you're on YouTube talking about what karate isn't. No, your karate isn't. My karate, and the kind of karate I will be teaching in our, karate, in our martial arts center two days a week. I will be teaching wrestling, I'll be teaching real kickboxing, I'll be teaching karate, I'll be teaching other things, but the bottom line is, those people who come and train with me in karate, they will learn real karate. Real karate. The kind of karate you see going on in the UFC, in the UFC where those kicks are causing some of the greatest knockouts in the history of the UFC. In the United States in particular, there has been two worlds. And those two worlds have also existed in karate. So those people who say karate is garbage, karate doesn't work, your karate didn't work. Why? Because you didn't come around people like me. Uma Fight Can, say Karin, train hard, train smart. See you next week.